Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sankara. As an advocate, you may be knowing, you will be arguing in so many cases, normally on behalf of the defense or on behalf of the accused. And we can't assure in which case we get acquittal or in which case the accused gets convicted. So you cannot assure the acquittal or conviction to a, to a party. That's why at the outset, while dealing with the, the professional ethics topic, while delivering my lecture, I told you that as a professional advocate, you should not uh, tell or you should not uh, tell the client that he will uh, walk out freely or he will, uh, uh, the case will end in acquittal like that. You have to say that you will make sincere efforts to bring the case to the logical end because uh, the judgment, it depends on the, it is in the hands of the judge, not in your hands. You might have argued very well, there must have been so many, you might have cited so many case laws, but the court should be satisfied that you have to prove the case beyond all reasonable doubt. If you are on the prosecution side or if you are on the defense side, definitely you have to prove the case beyond all reasonable doubt. So then only after satisfying, the court will deliver the judgment. So here, what happened is, one client, Nandalal Loharia, he has filed a case against the three advocates that there is deficiency of service on their part uh, since the case filed by them on his behalf against BSNL, three cases ended in acquittal. Actually, they were dismissed by the consumer forum. So actually, so now the important point for discussion is whether services by the advocates, they come under the Consumer Protection Act or not. So. Previously, I told you, I replied the answer already, you know that uh, the service of advocate cannot come under Consumer Protection Act because bar counsel is there. If at all any negligence, if at all any misconduct is there, they have to address the bar counsel who will take action under section 35 of the Advocates Act 1961. But still, there are some cases. Of course, definitely, you have got a right to file a case. When you think that there is a deficiency of service, the court will decide. Now, same thing happened here. Now, let us go to the details of the case. So, Mr. Nandala Loharia. So, you can read the cases. Nandala Loharia versus Jagdish Chand Purohit in SLP number 24842, that is 24,842 by 2021 on 8-11-2021 by two judges bench. Justice M. R. Shaw and uh, Madam B. V. Nagaratna. They clearly held that merely basing on the losing of a case, you cannot file a case of uh, consumer protection, saying that there is a deficiency on the part of the advocates. Now, this uh, Nandala Loharia, sorry, versus Jagdish Chand Purohit, sorry, Nandala Loharia and others, they are the advocates. So, Jagdish Chand Purohit, actually he filed so since it is an appeal now i have uh, studied read, read it as nandra lavarya right so just jagdish chand purohit he is a complainant and he had appointed three advocates nandra lavarya and others and uh, actually they filed three complaints against bsnl in complaints number 101 and 102 by 2014 and 1 by 2015 uh, against BSNL that uh, there is a deficiency of service. So they have filed the case uh, complaint in the district forum. But district forum dismissed the same basing on the merits. Because please remember here the observation by the DCDRC was uh, the allegations which are against the BSNL which is uh, a government organization, they are not uh, proved. So, as such, they are dismissed. Number one, of course, they have exclaimed the so called statutory authority. That's a later point. So, the forum dismissed the same. Now, since uh, they have encouraged him, since the advocates have encouraged him to file a complaint, and uh, since they have promised him that they will, he will be successful, and since he lost all these cases, even though he has gone to state commission. And ultimately, this National Commission, ultimately, these lawyers went against him in the Supreme Court of India. Then, Supreme Court also clearly stated that winning or losing the case, you cannot decide the efficiency. 
the efficiency may be known. Who is a professional? The professional should have the requisite qualifications. And he should use the qualification with a reasonable competence. That's all. You cannot rely on the results. So this is what the Supreme Court held. So please remember, advocates, you cannot allege deficiency on their part in contesting the cases. They have performed. Moreover, the Supreme Court also clearly observed that the uh, so-called uh, forum did not mention any negligence uh, on the part of the advocates. So even though the plaintiff that is uh, uh, Jagdish Purohit, uh, he has claimed a compensation of 15 lakhs, uh, no compensation was awarded to him, right? So even though he has gone appeal, ultimately financial, ultimately these lawyers went against him before the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Supreme Court of India clearly based on the following points. Number one, no observations in the by the DCDRC that there was negligence on the part of the advocates. So only thing is the allegations in the complaint, they are not proved. And therefore the case, you can think it is lost on merits. So please remember. In each and every case, when the litigant uh, loses the case, uh, it cannot be said that there is a deficiency on the part of the advocates, right? But here I want to tell you an important case which occurred in Andhra. This is a case P. Krishna Rao and another versus uh, Mundipalli Devaya. P. Krishna Rao and another, they are advocates. Mundipalli Devaya uh, in FA number 30 by 2022, dated 8 to 2002. So FEA number 30 by 2002 decided on 8th February 2002 about 20 years back. So here the important parent is uh, P. Krishna Rao, they are the others are the advocates. So they filed a suit before the court. So of course it was uh, actually uh, rejected at the stage of admission itself. So where the court commented that uh, the plaintiff or the plaintiff Please remember, he is totally or extremely inconsistent. So, and please remember, uh, and uh, is the drafting the plaintiff is very shabby. It is not at all properly filed. So, at the stage of is filing the suit itself, at the same of uh, stage of filing the plaint itself, uh, it was very badly drafted. Even though they have taken the fee, they did not concentrate on the case. And this is definitely a deficiency of service. The High Honorable High Court of Andhra Pradesh asked the advocates to return the fees with a, uh, actually with the extra costs of the, with the compensation of rupees 1000 to the complainant and also costs of rupees 200. So here, this is not that case. As per section 21 of the, but whatever it is, uh, Consumer Protection Act, uh, the services of the advocates, they do not come under the Consumer Protection Act. Uh, and second point is, please remember, there is no negligence as alleged by the complainant and as noted by the court. No negligence as alleged by the complainant. But even the court also said there is no negligence. So therefore, please remember, mere so mere losing the course the court uh, mere losing the case does not amount to deficiency of the service and it cannot come under the consumer protection act right so law to students please uh, uh, read the uh, judgment clearly if you do not or uh, hear my video once or twice you may not be able to easily catch the points so with this i want to conclude thank you very much